Yo, what's good? I'm the squad. It's your boy, Humble Ziggy, and I'm back in your. It's not with another nerdcore, but we're back to some like ones that y'all used to see me always do all the time. Back with Mercury's. And trust me when I tell you this, I don't even remember the last time I even reacted to Mercury's. But in the lot of I icon and such the last video you might see go check it out whatever that whatever which one is like the last one that you see me react to and such go check it out when you see that i pop that icon popping right now and such but like i said we here with mercury's many man remix and this song is by 50 cent and you already know with that song that was a banger song so and trust me, when it comes to Mercury's, you know that whenever he's he's used, he built on on this. He's used to be known as the king of the remixes and shit. So trust me. Sorry, hold on. Don't know what that was, <laughs> but sorry about that. But like I said, you already know when it comes to him and the remixes on any song. Whether it was a fire old song or a new one that's fire, he'll kill it too. And he'll act like it was his song. But hey, regardless, this just shows you that whenever it comes to Mercury, he'll always gonna pay respects to not only the young generation or so, like the ones that are with banger songs of today, but that the old generation and such. And mostly, and most of the time, Whenever he's popping out new music, it mostly be with some of the old generation, like some of the like OGs and such, like Too Short, Twist Up, The Game and such, like nigga, goddamn. But with that being said, we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get in the video. Where they were at when I had 50 Cent, 50 Cent as the rapper, but also 50 Cent, basically saying like, nigga, y'all would, y'all are friends with me now and such, right? But when, where were y'all when I was down on my luck? Basically saying like nigga, you may see me with a chain, you may see me have a big name and such, you may see me have all of this touch, but y'all gotta remember I'm still that nigga who gonna pull up on you and start airing that shit out. Gangster is provider for your family. Gangsters when your kids are happy to call you And trust me, there'd be a lot of people who think like just because when they hear gangster they hear of the gun and such, and most of the times he might. But gangster could mean in many other ways. Like he's about to explain, and I heard one of them saying that gangster is about how your parent, your kids can really call you daddy. That's gangster. Call you daddy. And I gotta say that when you come, one thing about Mercury is I always gonna always say that, like I just said at the start of this, he's gonna pay homage to how, like the old side of hip hop, 
and such bringing it with some new era and such but he still hit stick on to the old side because that's how hip-hop was and such where you didn't have a whole bunch of people who if you just came if you have like a image you have one popular thing about you and you start blowing up now you can be gangster with or without the money Basically saying like nigga, I made it where I'm at. You see how I was struggling and such, and how I had to overcome many obstacle after obstacle after obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. And now he can officially say that nigga, I made it. I wish I could see the look on all your faces when I made it. Went from a tenant to the landlord. Mm. I came up from the basement, mm. living dangerous. Taught me reef what you saw. Mm. Life is too precious. Mm. Told my demons, please leave me alone. Mm -hmm. I learned my lesson. Don't say only God can judge me, cause I see things clear. Mm. Stuck to rapping and they give my fat ass a bunch of mm. years. I don't call it a mistake if it meant that I learned something. First mm. Canada gave you Drake. They didn't see Merc mm. coming. Scared to face all of my fears. I would just turn running. Now it's 2022 and I swear it's my turn. Mm. I know as hard as it is, but my heart is too big. Mm. So when I wear it on my sleeve, then I'm a target again. Mm. Now all these artists make a profit, but it's not how they live. Cause all that matters to them is how big their following is. Message. You, you hear the message in that one? Cause that's, that's literally how today is and such. That the only thing these rappers, most rappers care about is how much is how many followers they got and such, right? It used to be a time where nigga they didn't care if a, if nobody listened to their shit and such, they were gonna keep on grinding and such to get to make people go and make them hear them. But now all of a sudden today it's all about it don't matter about how much you grind and such, it don't matter how much you put in the effort and such in the music. It's just all about how many followers you can pull up like that so the music could be literally just mid but you get everybody who would think that you would get everybody who is like the stand for them and such you can say say that oh it's fire he got millions upon millions upon millions upon dollars on like and millions upon millions upon fans gonna like it and such when in reality if the song is mid it's mid if it's ever if it's fire it's fire but if it's trash, they ain't gonna say it's trash. They're gonna say it's alright, but nigga, you know deep in your soul that if you if you a real fan of the artist and you want them to keep on providing for such, you gotta tell them it's ass. As a fan of them and as a fan of music, you gotta know. If it sounds bad, it sounds bad. Don't be don't be trying to be one of those like yes man or even yes stands and say that every song they drop and such is fire. No. If it's fire, cool. If it's mid, cool. That means that it's not bad. But if it's trash, it's fucking trash. And now it's 2022 and I swear it's my turn. Fuck it. I know as hard as it is, but my heart is too big. So when I wear it on my sleeve, then I'm a target again. Now all these artists make a profit, but it's not how they live. Mm. Cause all that matters to them is how big their following is. So trust me, if you want to have that energy, then keep it. All those friends I lost, you're better off than never talk to me. Cause if you set me up, I'll bet the odds I'm stepping off the deep mm. Mercules always know how to make 
a remix out of any song just feel brand new With the evidence. Hey. Shout out to Mercules to come back to him in search cause goddamn. He was just dropping gems in here. Back on the Mercury. Hey you. Y'all gotta read us. It's been a long ass time since I've like hear some like hip hop hip hop like this cause don't get me wrong, the nerdcore, I'm always gonna wanna be a part of it. But I gotta remember that before there was nerdcore, I always remember love hearing like real hip hop like this. Not saying nerdcore ain't hip hop too, it's just an advanced version of it. Y'all if y'all if y'all real understanding of hip hop, y'all gotta know. But this right here just brought me back how hip hop was like hip hop hip hop but hey man shout out to Mercules he killed it as always but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out stay positive and keep the vibes up let go